and here we are on the hi and here we are on the canal I just got on there you see that I think it's called Aswood Lock I'm not sure what it's called Aswood Lock because Aswood's in Redditch and this is Witchbolt so. well it might be Hanbury 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 or Witchbolt so. oh, it's quite warm today October it says on my phone 14 degrees, but I think because the sun's out it probably feels a little bit warmer. There's not much breeze either. It's a nice walk. I was at the Mulvins. Oh, I didn't take a video at the Mulvins yesterday. Mulvins yesterday where... Uh, it was a bit cloudy, uh, but it didn't rain, so that was good. See a witchbold over there, see the radio masts. Yeah, nice uh, Rosie and Jim boat there. This is probably just over half an hour walk now. It's not really a long walk, really. It's just a nice, it's a nice relaxing walk. There was actually a man at the Morvan yesterday in his seventies. He looked, he looked at least seventy. He had a walking stick with him. He still got up to. He didn't quite go up to the top, but he sort of. He went to where the he followed the path round. Probably because it was really slippy. I fell over twice yesterday. Well, I almost fell over. And I heard a voice deep within myself say, nope. And somehow I managed to stand back up again, even though my feet are going sideways. It's, like, it's almost like this body is like a puppet on strings. And God holds the strings. Possessed by God. That's what happens when you've done too much meditation. You become possessed by the only power that is. All the other powers borrow their power from that one power, which is love. All the other powers, including the powers of darkness, they all bother their powers from that power of love and they transform it into hate and anger and rage and lust and many other emotions and thoughts and wicked deeds but the one power wants to see creation taking place Therefore, you could say that the one power is allowing all this mayhem to take place. And yet at the same time, it's allowing all this beauty to take place. The darkness has intelligence, and that intelligence wants to destroy the beauty, which is inherent in the one love, which is God. My father walked. Sure. I still need a wee. I still need a wee. <coughs> Doesn't help drinking three cups of tea this morning. It's probably why I need a pee. And my cups are quite big as well. Big square cups. That's Hanbury, Hanbury Hall over there. And if you go on, pardon me, 
if you go a little bit further, you've got the Ginny. Oh, there's a little bird, you know. Hello. Oh. What is that? Is it a bullfinch? If you go a little bit further, you've got the Ginny Wing Craft Centre. Yeah. That'd probably be the Virgin Train to Birmingham. Yeah, Virgin Train. That's probably coming from the West Country, probably. It could be coming from London, actually, I'm not sure. No, because they've got a different train down the West Country, haven't they? I don't think. No, from Bristol you can get the Vir you can get the Virgin train. Oh, it could be from there. If it goes either from way, then it's come from London. I'm not sure. Yeah, this is the way to the Ginny. No, this is the way to Hanbury Hall. You go over there. You go over over there, and then over that field you've got a big. There's a big 18th century country house called Hanbury Hall which was built by oh my memory serves me but it was built by one of the first dukes or duchesses of oh I don't know <laughs> don't ask me questions on history it was built by the Hanbury family back in the 17th century so we got yeah built by the Ham Hambury and then I think she and then I think the lady I think she cheated on her husband or something and she got chucked out by her husband and I think he uh, oh it's been ages since I read about Hambury Hall it's got to be like at least four years because I don't really read very often these days I just meditate but uh, I think it was yeah she she got chucked out she got um, yeah or, or what did he cheat on her yeah, there was some big drama anyway in the 17th century and he chucked her out or she chucked it or she killed him or something i'm not sure um and that's just over there so you see all this countryside and you think oh yeah nothing can ever happen around there but you'd be surprised it does happen every once in a blue moon got to remember as well there was no social security and things in those days so people were a lot more desperate and with desperation comes crying so yeah Ooh. I didn't notice that boat over there until I saw the man staring at me. I don't know why. God knows. Maybe they've never heard of YouTube if they live on a boat. I don't know. <laughs> no, that can't be true, can it? Everyone's heard of YouTube. You'd have to be a, a monk deep in the deep in the forest or deep on the mountains to not hear YouTube. <laughs> Lots of flies back to the day, it's October. I try and avoid this walk in the summer because I get like lit I get little I get bitten like how many times? Like about a million times by all different little creatures. Oh, wasp. Is it a big? I'm not sure. I get bitten about a million times. So I try and avoid this walk during a heat wave. But I think we're safe in October to walk. Yep. I 
far we walk in there. Good job my battery was 92% before I left. Ugh, loads of flies, where'd that go? Private no entry. <laughs> I'm thinking about moving to Malvern in a few years. I've <laughs> offered that on YouTube. I don't want to rush into it though, because I've got a nice place there, so I'm not going to rush into moving to Malvern. It's just something I want to do in the future. <coughs> oh god, go away. Flies, bees, wasps, dragonflies. And that's what was chasing me the last time I'd done this walk. It was a dragonfly. A big massive thing it was. No wonder they're called dragonflies. About the size of a hedgehog, more or less. Oh, getting hot. So take out all your clothes and get some. I'm going to take my clothes off. Got socks, I think, next week for the week. Yeah. Oh, I suppose he's, they don't live in Mobile, do they? They're like a venture, like that family does. The Morgan family. They like, uh, they like hills, they like mountains, they like skiing and all that kind of thing. As far as I as far as I don't live in Mulva. Great Mulvern. Or little Mulvern. Or Mulvern Wells. I really need a pee. I'm gonna have to end this video, I think, because I'm dying for pee. Okay. <laughs> Hope the sheep don't see me. <laughs> peace, people. Peace, 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 peace. Peace.